Welcome back guys, JC here, and here's how you connect the X4RSB to the Flip32 Omnibus. I'll be covering the normal F3 Omnibus as well as the F3 Pro. If you have the F4 or F4 Pro, this video is not for you because these require a different setup and a modification to your receiver. Uh, but either way, this goes for everyone. Just look in the top right of your screen or description below, and I'll have links to my Omnibus playlist where you will find many other helpful videos. So going to the Omnibus, and it, this part doesn't matter if you have the original or the Pro because these pins are in the same location. Uh, your input pins are these pins on the top. You want your signal wire going to the top left pin towards the center of the board the uh, power wire or red wire going to the middle pin and ground on the outside. I have soldered on a three wire servo cable like this but if you use pin headers you can use the standard three wire to three wire cable like this. My X4R looks different from yours. Um, let's just pretend this D4R2 is the X4R SB. Uh, they're the same dimensions. Uh, let's just you know pretend for a second so if you look at your case right here is the S bus pin and that is what your signal wire is going to go to so you will plug yours in just like this with the signal wire on the outside ground wire towards the inside also take note that I'm using the back row of pins because this front row of pins is actually channel number one now for telemetry I'm using this pin here, which is the transmit pin on UART number one. For you F3 Pro guys, uh, well first let's look at the original. You can see here TX1 is the pin that I'm using, like I said, transmit for UART number one. If you ever want UART number two for another device, uh, just a helpful tip, that's the pin right next to uh, the one that we are using in this video. Now for the F3 Pro guys. Uh, you will have to use either this connector or this connector because if you see over here, transmit on UART number one is the third pin down. And over here, uh, you could also use UART number two, TX2, which is the second pin down. So you can use either one, it's completely up to you. Uh, just like you uh, original F3 guys, uh, you can use transmit on UART number two if you want. Um, I'm just trying to keep things simple. <clears throat> just another tip for you guys with the Pro version, uh, if you do need your uh, like a harness to plug into these connectors, what you want to do is uh, just what I do is just go to eBay and search for JST SH 1.0 millimeter and six pin or four pin obviously this one is a six pin and this one is a four pin so you would have to pick or you can buy both uh, but that's what you want to search for and it will give you this and there's many of you, you know you can shop around pick the cheapest one you can find now the wire that I'm using for telemetry um, what you guys will probably want to do if you still have this connector on the side just use the four pin four wire connector that came with your receiver and uh, you can remove the three other wires that you don't need. The only wire you need is the one on the very corner. So these three other ones you can either cut them off or lift the tabs up with a razor blade and pull them out one by one. Uh, either way is up to you. And then you would just solder this one last remaining wire right where I have this wire soldered on. Uh, or if you have the pro version you would be using uh, one of these two connectors. So I'm just going to plug my wires into my uh, falling apart X4 RSB. Now we have everything wired. So let's take a USB cable, plug it in. That will power the flight controller and receiver both. If you haven't bound your receiver you need to go ahead and do that. Uh, just look in my X4R, SB, or Trans playlist and you will find a video on how to do that. Uh, once again, the links to those playlists are in the description below. I've already bound mine, so if I turn my transmitter on... Hey JC, welcome back. Cheat mode active. I get the solid green light, meaning it has been properly bound and everything is working. Once you get the solid green light, we can continue. 
So now let's just go into Betaflight and connect. Uh, first let's go to ports and for the original F3 guys because we put our telemetry wire on UART number one uh, first, you want to turn off the data because UART ports can only do one thing at a time and we will be using it for telemetry, so come over here and uh, I know it's a free sky receiver, but these are different types of telemetry and the X4R SB uses smart port telemetry, so you would want to select smart port. For the pro version guys, like I said, you can use either uh, UART1 or UART2, whichever one is easier for you. Just make sure that you select telemetry for that UART. Now we just want to save and reboot. Now real quick, one thing I forgot to mention. What our receiver is connected to, that pin, although it's not labeled on the uh, wiring diagram, that's actually UART number three, and we're not seeing it. That's because first we need to come to configuration, because we're this, because this is a S bus receiver. You want to turn on RX serial, and then choose what type of RX serial, which is S bus, and then uh, while we are here, go ahead and turn on telemetry, then save and reboot. Now go back to ports. We now see UART number three. So come over here to Serial RX and turn it on, then save and reboot. Everything should be working now, except for if we go back to <laughs> configuration. You may notice that it switches back to PPM. So just switch it back to RX Serial once again, save and reboot again, and now everything should be working. Uh, I don't know why it does that, but it does it, but this time it will save uh, for real. Uh, to test everything, you can just go to the receiver tab, move your joysticks around, everything, uh, roll pitch, yaw, and throttle should all be moving. If you have created any switches, you can test those out. Things are about to get real. Hybrid mode, stunt mode active, cheat mode active. Okay, all that's working. Now in the Tyrannus, press the menu button to go to your model. Hold the page button down to go backwards a page. Scroll down and discover new sensors. Once it's done, press enter again to stop discovery and there is all of your sensors. If you are only getting four sensors, that means your telemetry is not working at all. Uh, those four sensors are actually coming from the receiver and not the flight controller. So to fix this, what you want to do is go back, recheck your wiring and also definitely recheck all of your setting changes in Betaflight because like I just showed you sometimes some things don't save or maybe you have a wire on the other UART or maybe you turned on the wrong UART in Betaflight um, so like I said just recheck everything and you should uh, be able to find what the problem is that's going to do it for this one guys so check out those other playlists for other helpful videos and I will see you there